Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're going to undercoat and rust protect the underside of Lisa's Jeep and we're going to show you guys how to do it to any vehicle that you want. So let's check it out. All right guys, so it's no secret, uh, winter's coming up in the Midwest, all throughout the United States, right? And you see it everywhere, you see an old cool Jeep or something like that, an old vehicle, sometimes not such old vehicles, and they're just bombed out, rusted out, right? And it is the most disheartening thing um, to those of us that live where they put a lot of road salt on the roads. Um, and for a long time in my life, I really just assumed there's nothing you could do about that, but then... I worked with some people, I had some friends, got introduced to something called fluid film. Um, and this stuff is great. This is the key to making your vehicles last throughout the winter. When you're like many of us and you don't have an option, you have to drive it all winter, right? Um, so what this is, is this is a wool wax. Um, it's basically a very refined petroleum product. It's non-toxic and it has a consistency of like, I would say like a Vaseline or something. Um, so what you do is you heat it up, you know, you get it to... Uh, liquid consistency you spray it on the inside your underside of your vehicles you know in the pockets the double sheet metal wherever it is in your frame rails everything like that and then once you spray it on it hardens up like a gel or like vaseline like i said and it's pretty resilient it stays on uh you know through you know a year if you touch it up every year you'd be more than great right um so this stuff is great you can have a professional uh apply this stuff um it probably run you about five to eight hundred dollars to get this thing professionally rust coat or under coated. Um, they come with great warranties. You touch it up every year. That's not a bad way to go, but that's just a little more expensive than something we want to do. And I feel that I can do about ninety five percent of the job that they could. Right. Um, so today we're going to go through and we're going to undercoat the underside of this Jeep. Um, it's a pretty simple DIY job. I'd say it's more tedious than it is technical. So if you're patient, you take care. It's something that everyone can do out there. The other thing is I'll post a link to all the tools that I use and the fluid film um, down below in the description of the video. So if you guys want to check it out and try this uh, yourself, you definitely can. Um, and it does not only apply to Jeeps, right? This fluid film is great. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get this Jeep set up. You can see I got a tarp down here. Um, we're going to show you guys the tools that we need to use. And then we're going to just give you a little glimpse of kind of applying it. Um, the very first thing that I would do I'll show you some pictures here, um, is you have to make sure the bottom of whatever vehicle you're applying to this is as clean as you can get it. I mean, obviously, I'll show you guys some clips of this underneath. It's gotten a lot better since I power washed it, um, but it's not perfect, and that's okay. Because um, it's fluid film, it's not like a rubberized undercoating where you have to have the surface completely rust-free and clean because it's going to stick to it and encapsulate it. This is basically like spraying WD-40 or oil all over, right? It's just going to sink into all the pores, but the difference when the fluid film is it'll stay there, right? So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get your vehicle clean. I like to go to the, um, you know, car wash yourself, car wash or whatever, where you put the quarters in, you get the hot gun with the foam, you can spray it really nicely, um, clean that up. And then what I did with this was I sprayed it Thursday, I sprayed it Saturday, and today is Sunday. So let it dry, spray it a couple times, make sure it's nice and dry, free of soap, so that the stuff adheres. So the next thing you guys do is you got to get your tools, right? So there's a couple different ways you can buy this. You can buy it in like a five gallon or one gallon paint bucket and you can buy it in an aerosol can. Uh, the answer is you need to buy both. If you buy the aerosol can, it's already ready to spray, which is nice. And it comes in this little, or it comes with this little wand here, which is perffect for sticking in your frame rails, sticking in cross members, sticking in, uh, you know, like in your door panels or wherever you have double sheet metal or something like that. This is the key to getting in all those hard to reach places for the DIYer like us. Second thing is, I like to buy it, uh, I bought a five gallon bucket actually this time because I have three vehicles here I need to do. I'm sure my dad's gonna want his truck done or something, right? Um, so buy the bulk because you save money. It's 150 bucks for five gallons. And then you need a paint sprayer. Well, not just any paint sprayer, you need a sprayer. So this is a force fed sprayer. It actually pressurizes this canister to force the media up to the gun. 
The other thing about this is it's disconjointed, right? So that I can just lay this on the ground or maybe I'll at least walk around and hold it. And then I can get up there and I can get it in all those hard to reach places. So you need an air compressor and you need a sprayer like this. And this is the key to really spraying that fluid film. Um, I'll show you guys some pictures right now, but you really have to get this fluid film warm before you spray it. Um, when it comes at, like I said, it's like a Vaseline consistency. So what I like to do is I like to heat it up in a pot of boiling water and then you drop the paint can in that. Um, I'm not going to tell you that's safe. I'm not going to tell you that's the way you should do it. Um, but I found that's what works best for me and heat it up. Uh, don't think, oh, it's soft. It'll spray. Heat it up till it's literally like oil or fryer grease, right? Heat it up until it's just a liquid consistency and then it should spray. Um, so I think I've got everything ready. I'm going to get suited up here. I might see if I can get my helper out and then uh, we're going to get to spray in the Jeep. I think we'll start in the hard to reach areas first. All right, guys. So the first thing I like to do is I like to start with the hard to reach areas, which would be the main frame rails on the Jeeps. We're lucky, not lucky. We have a box in frame, so that's really prone to rust. And then all these little cross members and stuff like this. Um, this is kind of the tedious part, right? So what I like to do is I like to put this wand on the can and it's pretty simple. You just feed it in, whoops, pull the trigger and pull it out. It goes on pretty fast um, and it might look like you don't have perfect coverage when you put it on, but since it's like an oil, it'll seep and it'll move around um, kind of as it sits. So we'll coat the frame rails and whatnot first, and then we'll come back with the gun and we'll spray the underbody. One thing I just want to point out quick on these JLs, right now I can already tell these areas are going to be problems, right? Where you have this double seam and the cross member, um, you know, places up like that. <laughs> Underneath the Jeep, we've got stuff, whoops, we've got stuff like those. Um, so, you know, I definitely took my time, put the straw in there, covered as much as I could. I would recommend everyone does. Uh, All right guys, so that's it. It's that easy to fluid film your Jeep and protect it from the rust. Um, honestly, it's not a bad job at all. Um, it is a little tedious. It is messy, you know, I put the tarp down. Um, you really, I had to let that sit in the hot water for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I really get to the point where I'm comfortable with spraying it, but for a $60 sprayer, a $40 aerosol kit, and $40 a gallon fluid film, if you take the time, you can let your Jeep last for ever, right? Loads longer than it would. I'll cut, to you, I'll cut you guys a clip of uh, what my truck looks like. So just a testimonial, I did spray my truck with this about a year ago, um, drove it all through the winter, washed it a little bit. Um, 
my recommendation on the washing would be don't go and like get the body blaster every week or something. Um, just keep the body clean and rinse the bottom off every now and then. Try and keep the snow out of it and stuff like that. And I'm, but this stuff is like grease. It's just going to fall right out. So I'll show you guys my truck. My truck still looks good a year later. Honestly, I'm going to spray a little bit on it this year, but I just have to touch up. And that's what I expect to see with this next year. Um, but it should be great. I'm really happy. This thing turned out really nice. Um, you know, you can see basically what you want it to look like is you just want it to look like the whole thing was just kind of dipped or sprayed in oil, right? But the difference is this is an oil. This isn't going to drip off. This is the fluid film that's going to stick on. Um, so, you know, I know I didn't cover everything in this video, but I don't really want to make it a 25 minute long video or a two part video or something. I want to try and keep it short and simple. Um, I think for a lot of people, it's more about getting exposed to the product because this is a product I didn't know about it. Now that I know about it, it's changed my life. Um, and I think, you know, everyone I talked to, I think has loved it and I try and push it on as many people as I can. Um, so thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, you know, if we get to the point where we need to make a follow up video or something we can, definitely we'll show you guys in the spring what it looks like and see if it's still on, things like that. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, share, um, show your friends, preach because don't just accept rust. You can do something about it, right? Um, so that's it, guys. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks.